Hi there you, my dear beading friends, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these sea star earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. In this way, you will be notified for new videos and you will be inspired two or three times a week with new designs. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. I can't thank you enough, guys, for these actions. Check description for full list of materials and my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 8 beads in white color, 11 OC beads in blue color. These are earring findings and jump rings. Nylo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness, which is size D. Size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are flat nose pliers that I use to attach my jump rings to my work. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have five 8 white beads on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop here and going twice through the loop I've made and then I pull and in my next step I'm going through the following seed beads. Okay, now I have this. What I want to do next is take two white beads and go back in circle through this bead that I'm exiting out of. Okay, here is what I have. Then I want to take one 11 blue bead and I'm going in the next white bead. Two white beads go back through this 11 -0, uh, through this 8 -0, sorry. Take an 11 -0 and go in the next, in the next bead. Then take two more white 8 -0 beads, go back in circle through this 8 -0. take one and go through the next 8 -0. Two 8 -0s. go back again through this one. one eleven o and go in the next eight o you see i'm repeating one and the same thing first i add two eight o's then i add one eleven o okay so i have this now in my next step I want to reposition my thread and go here in this 8 -0. You see, here I am. Take two 8 -0s, Go in the next 8 -0. In this way, I'm forming herringbone stitch. If you're not familiar, this is what it is. Okay, and I take one 11 -0 go in the next 8 -o, two 8 -os, and go in the next 8 -o. again
and this is what I'm gonna be doing until the end of this row Okay, then I will continue with my herringbone, which is take two, go in the next one, then again two blue beads and go here. In the last white continue with the herringbone go in the next one and I'm going to repeat 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 this until the end of this row you see I first I have two atos And then I have two eleven o's, and I go around the edge. Okay, now I have another row really similar to this one. I take two atos, go like this. Then logically it comes three blue beads. Then two whites again. three blue beads two whites three blue and I will continue this until the end of this row And here at my last step where I have three beads, you see where I go through the third white counting from the center. Okay, at the same place where I did it with my other elements. Okay, now I have this. I take two white beads. And I take two blue after that and I go here in the middle blue bead. Then another two blue beads and go in the next white. Two whites after that. two blue beads two blue beads two whites two blue
again absolutely the same thing now you see at this stage it will start popping out in the center and this is a wanted effect I like this effect so much so this will be the front part of my earring where it pops out Okay guys, now I have this and I'm starting another row. Two white beads go here, two blue beads and go here. Through the second blue of those that I added in my previous step and then through the central blue. Okay, I have this. Then what I want to do is go through the next blue. And take two blue beads. And go in the next white. Then I take two white beads. two blue beads and go here as I showed you in the second blue and in the central blue then go in the next blue two blue beads go here in this white two whites go in the following white two blue and go here and in the next one two blue beads again go in the next white and continue this until the end of this row if you forget how i'm doing it just rewind the video see these three steps and repeat them okay meet you here okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i need to add my last two blue beads from this row and I'm going here in the fifth white counting from the center one two three four five and don't make the mistake to go through the sixth one here this one okay and now I'm going to do an additional row and you see now how this work pops out in the center and it looks really cool I'm taking one white bead and as I'm exiting from this bead, I go in the next one. Then what I want to do is go in this direction. And through those beads that I added in my previous steps, through the blue beads. And I want to exit here again at the end. Take one white bead. And go through all of those beads here.
one again. And I will continue this until the end, going through these beads and adding these two. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last white bead from this row. And what I want to do next is to also reinforce this last blue thread pad here. And in my next step, I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. I make here a loop. I go once, I go second time through the loop I've made, I pull. Then I go in the following beat. And I cut my thread. What I'm going to do next is to attach my jump ring and my earring finding. And how I do this, I take my jump ring, I open this one up, and I put it here. Now, because this part that pops out is the front of my earring, I want to put my earring finding in this direction. Then I squeeze back in the same direction as I opened my jump ring. And now my sea star or sea fish earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my sea stars earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and also click the bell button. In this way you will be notified when I make new tutorials usually two or three times a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials. Also, you will find a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Please like, share and comment in this way. You help me so much. I can't thank you enough for these actions. And a lot of work goes here in this video. So you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks and you will find links in description. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.